hey everybody welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how i like to make my rice so let's go ahead and jump on into the ingredients you're going to need one cup of rice make sure you wash it and you're going to need two cups of water and you're going to need some lorocos this is optional you don't have to use this but i do one chopped tomato and some red onion and of course you're going to need some butter and a sauce pot and a spoon all right so let's go ahead and get started on cooking you're going to want to take some butter some nice smooth butter in this case i like to use i can't believe it's not butter you can use whatever kind of butter you normally use that's fine you're going to go ahead and put that in the saucepan and you're going to let it all melt but don't let it burn you don't want burned butter now once the butter is melted you're going to want to go ahead and add, add your tomato and your onions so you're going to go ahead and put that into the saucepan you're just going to go ahead and let it mix up and just let it cook until it softens the tomatoes and once the tomatoes are soft you want to go ahead and go in and smash them down a little because you don't want big chunks of tomatoes so you're just going to go ahead and smash it down also forgot to mention that um, you're also going to need um, some caldo con sabor de pollo, the, the chicken flavored bouillon. And you're going to go ahead and want to take a spoon of that, not a full on spoon, but a spoon of that and just go ahead and put it in because this seasoning can be very salty and you don't want very salty rice. Now, once you add that, you're going to go ahead and mix that up. You add in your rice and you mix it up as well and you go ahead and let it get a little bit of brown. Now, once it's brown and browned up, you're going to go ahead and want to pour in your two cups of water, which I have here. I've already have it measured out and you just go ahead and pour it into the pot and you're just going to mix it up and just kind of scrape up whatever's on the bottom of the pot because that's all the flavor there and you don't want to just leave that sit there. You want to mix it all up into the rice. So now when it comes to a boil like this, I'm going to add my lorocos. All right, once you add the lorocos, you want to go ahead and mix that in there. The lorocos is going to give it a really good flavor. Like these lorocos carry a lot of flavor. And once you pour it into the rice, you're going to begin to smell the lorocos. Entonces, once you put the lorocos in there, you're going to go ahead and let it just pour off just for a little bit for a couple of minutes. And then you're going to go ahead and want to just put that on low and cover it and do not i mean do not remove the lid and once it's done this is how it's gonna look and on this day is for my husband's lunch for work 